Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, Tropical Depression 9 has formed. Now, take this track as well as the intensity guidance that we do have so far with a little bit grain of salt because we don't even have a surface low yet. Although, all three models has narrowed it down to where it's definitely going over here by the southwest of Florida. So, so far what we have for the updates is we have Tropical Storm as it passes by Jamaica. Canadian is showing it will strengthen up a little bit to a hurricane as it passes by you a little bit sooner than this. Now, the upper level high is still giving shear on this system. And once it lets go and gets a little further away up right about by you, Jamaica, it won't get no more shear. It will start intensifying. And this is where the deep ocean heat content is. This is where it's going to do rapid intensification. Now, there's one thing I want to point out over here by Cuba. This could weaken the system as it goes across. They still have it as a cat two, maintaining as a cat two right before it goes towards Florida. Now, take this with a grain of salt as well because they have it as a 110 miles per hour cat two. That is a high end cat two, a major hurricane, 111 miles per hour, just one. I believe this is somewhere in between a two and four. Now what we've been seeing in the model guidance is everybody from the Florida Panhandle, all of Florida, Florida Keys, over here by Western Bahamas, all the way up to Georgia. I remember we still don't have a surface low, but two models are agreeing that this is the location of impact within five days. It showed this layer last night, GFS took it a little bit west. Now GFS, all three are showing right here by Cape Coral. But remember, after this, it has somewhere to go. Now, two of the modelings are agreeing that it is going to stay and go right down Florida, maybe get a stalled front from this cold front coming down. And that used to be the trend. Now, Euro is showing that it also will go right up on this high ridge towards the southeast. And it will re-strengthen from this high ridge and become a hurricane all over again. So I will show you everything I have for you. Thank you for all of you that always help like and share this information so we can alert others because it's the best way to know what's going on as this comes. Instead of all them big fear videos, I'm going to show you what we have so far. All three models agree to this point. So I'm going to show you on the GFS run what it has to that point so far. So here we are this morning on Tropical Depression 9. And as you can see, it's still getting the easterly winds going to the west given shear on this system. And when it gets right below you, Jamaica, it will start intensifying. Euro has it right below you. Canadian has it right below you. GFS has it a little bit below that. Now I have this link in the description for you so you can go see what National Hurricane Center with the official is. Remember this cone is gonna move. This is only the first advisory of it. But it also tells you the strength of the winds, timing, you can see everything on this page. As you check with the Canadian, it shows it goes right by Jamaica Saturday around 10 p.m. Tropical storm right there, but then it starts strengthening up to a hurricane before it leaves the western side of the island. This is by Sunday at 4 p.m. Then it goes through the Cayman Islands, strengthens up to a strong hurricane. Just be aware, Cayman Islands, this could strengthen even more. There's a lot of heat over there. Now, as it goes over Cuba, it don't affect it too much. A lot of the higher elevations are to the east of this system, but still it's running into some problems, but it strengthens right back up for the Florida Keys, definitely a hurricane and possibly a cat too, as it goes towards southwestern Florida. Now, Canadian and GFS both agree it will just ride down and stall for 24 to 36 hours of wind and rain on all of Florida, Georgia, some of South Carolina, some of Alabama, and just stall out, go up the country, start affecting the Northeast as well, but not as strong as the Euro is showing for the Northeast. So it goes up by South Carolina's by Saturday, and it starts weakening down to a tropical storm, a tropical depression for the Northeast. GFS takes it where it's a lot lower from you and you're barely getting any kind of impacts as it strengthens up to a tropical storm when it passes by you. Jamaica goes to the Cayman Islands, still a hurricane, still goes over western Cuba and still curves towards southwestern of Florida. Only difference is GFS, I guess, is picking up on these temperatures. There's 
Nothing that's been in these waters, so the sea surface temperatures are at its hottest peak with no disturbance. It has very hot deep ocean heat content, and that right there is a 957 potentially major hurricane coming to Florida. And that is coming by Tuesday afternoon, feeling the effects from the outer bands of the winds and the rain. Wednesday and Wednesday morning coming in for landfall. And it still shows, according to the GFS, it will have a stall and sit there affect the north the northwestern Bahamas for at least 24 hours and then come back on a Carolina still a strong tropical storm Alabama it's affecting all of y'all as well now after that it goes from South Carolina to North Carolina still a strong tropical storm all the way to the Ohio Valley then it weakens to a tropical depression for the northeast and strengthens back up just a little bit because it is going on a high ridge and possibly a tropical storm again for upstate New York as it goes towards Canada, strengthening up for the New England states. So GFS and Euro both show that the Northeast, it will strengthen back up to at least a tropical storm, potentially a hurricane again. The Euro shows just like the Canadian that it does pass by you on Sunday morning, but it stays a little bit away where it's not severe impacts, but it goes up on that high ridge and strengthens to a tropical storm for Western Jamaica. Then it goes over to Cayman Islands, still becomes a hurricane, just like all the modeling. Now, Euro takes this a little bit further to the east, where it does have potential impacts and slowdowns from these high mountains in Cuba. Now, it goes by Florida Keys by Tuesday morning and affecting southern Florida as a hurricane by Wednesday. Now, Euro shows that it's going up on this high ridge, and its high ridge is going to pull it up. So it does stay mostly offshore, although it could be some wind impacts for Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina as it goes through that path. But still, it goes on this high ridge and goes to the northeast and starts strengthening back up. We have it already going from a hurricane to a strong hurricane, already back down to a major hurricane just for a moment and then weakening back down for the northeast a cat 2 hurricane a very strong system even a cat 1 hurricane for the new england states so this is not over by a long shot and once we get the center on on this low pressure we will know exactly which one is correct so all i'm saying is if you're in jamaica you're in the cayman islands western cuba Bahamas, Western Bahamas, Northern Bahamas, Florida Panhandle, Southern Alabama, Southern Georgia, probably all of Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, all up the East Coast. You need to be alert on this. Florida, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Bahamas, Western Cuba. Y'all need to get prepared. This is coming. And it could have double impacts. So as this system comes in through the Ohio Valley on Sunday, it is really going to affect the Ohio Valley, give y'all a lot of precipitation already and the northeast. So y'all already going to have rainfall coming towards y'all before this gets pulled up on a high ridge and potentially bringing more heavy rainfall impacts and not just the winds. But you can see here as it passes by the Cayman's Islands, you get a, a deep trough and then it goes by Florida up on that tilt, bringing it right towards that high ridge. And the high ridge stays along the coast. A really nice high peak and it pulls it right up that ridge. Instead of having a tilt to the east, if this trough tilted to the east, it would pull it in on the high ridge on the western side of the trough. But since it's in front of it, it's not going to batter it away just like it did Fiona. This one rides a long stream on the northeast and just pulls that system up the coast with it. Now remember, I have these links in the description for you, and this is very important. As the information updates, these links will automatically update for you. This is for rainfall. This is for wind gust impacts. All you do is go to my video. You go down where it says show more, and you click it, and you will see a lot of links. They're zoomable links to zoom even closer into your area. So here's one right here. This is for wind gusts. And on the bottom right, you can choose between Euro and between GFS. That way you can see the difference in the impacts. However, Euro has seen this for a long time. And in Ensemble Control Member, almost two weeks ago, it showed it going right down Florida from Miami straight towards Georgia. And that looks like what the GFS and Canadian is seeing. However, what we're seeing so far is anywhere from 39 to 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts, especially on the western side of Jamaica as this system passes by. GFS shows it further away. It's going to be a lot less. Your earliest show on Cayman Islands, you have strong tropical storm conditions as it strengthens towards 
Kay Largo is going to be hurricane wind gust conditions. GFS is seeing this as well a little bit further to the west. Then as you go towards Florida Keys and Florida, so far on the wind gust is bringing anywhere from 70 to eight high 80s for the Florida Keys. Starts weakening down with the wind gusts on southern Florida because the system weakens right before landfall. But this is what they have so far on impacts. GFS has it a little bit further to the west of a push, bringing high 80s even higher with that white for the western of Florida. 90s a little bit further away. So remember, this is still a little bit too far away. We don't have the track or intensity perfect by, by a long shot. But after it goes up this coast, if it goes up this coast, this is where Euro is seeing that there's going to be over 100 miles per hour wind gusts, over 115 for the Carolinas and Virginia coast, bringing anywhere from 50s to 70s and 80s all up towards the northeast and then get towards the New England states and bring y'all a lot of wind as well. It's just a lot of potential with this system. So I will keep you updated. Make sure you subscribe so you get the updates. I am going to be live streaming this for you guys there's going to be different portions we're going to do i'm a live stream for jamaica i'm a live stream for cayman islands and cuba then i'm going to live stream for what happens towards the florida area and bahamas possibly more than that but i have this for your rainfall amounts as well so as you can see with the euro you can see with the gfs takes it a little bit west so as we have with the euro so far Jamaica, you're going to be getting a lot of rainfall. And one thing I want to point out is a lot of this precipitation, almost all this precipitation, isn't going to affect too much of Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico. Y'all going to have very light amounts. But when it goes towards the Cayman Islands, that's where it's really going to get a little bit heavier. But so far, we have all of southern Jamaica with the Euro. GFS shows it's just going to be eastern Jamaica and lighten up as it passes by. As we go by the Cayman Islands, we're showing anywhere from 4 to 6 inches, a little bit western with GFS. So the western islands really need to keep your eye on this. Also heavy for western Cuba. Western Bahamas, remember the Euro and the GFS shows that it will be heavier amounts for y'all as well. This is going to be an east side loaded storm. And so far, the point of impact is Tampa with the GFS 12 inches towards Orlando, Palm Coast. And the Euro is showing as more southern track, where it's definitely going to be over Port St. Lucie, Miami, all the way to Cape Coral. So we still don't have it pegged out yet. And it could affect the Northeast as well. Not just the winds, a lot of the rains. But I will keep you updated. So, so far with the GFS run and all three models do show it going towards Florida, you begin some thunderstorms around 5 p.m. for tomorrow afternoon as it passes by, lightens up after the first couple of bands is what it looks like so far for you. But then it goes by the Cayman Islands and that's where it's supposed to be strengthening up. So, so far for the Cayman Islands, it is passing by y'all with some thunderstorms on Sunday morning. And staying there all morning long, you will be east side loaded with this system. So just be aware of the impacts for the Euro so far. I believe the Euro has correct on the first couple of days. As it passes by for the 26th on Monday, all the way to midnight, all the way till Tuesday morning, and the storms will be leaving. So Florida Keys, y'all could be seeing some thunderstorms come Monday morning, and it could start going for Miami already by Monday afternoon, getting to Cape Coral, getting up towards Palm Bay and Tampa by midnight. And then the system is going to come in with all the winds and the heavy rains, and it is going to ride right up to the southeast as well, and it will affect northern Florida. So I will keep you updated Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you help me alert others so they can just get prepared. That way they're not the last ones out there getting material. And it'd be the best thing for everybody. But thank you so much for visiting my channel today. God bless all of you. Please go out and get preparations. Take your time. It's still a few days away. But go out and make preparations. Get them shutters out. You need to put them on, guys. Above all things, I pray that God keeps every single one of you safe. God bless you and your families. I'd like to say a, a quick prayer for everyone involved that you and your families will be safe. Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men. How long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity 
and seek after leasing. Silah. Silah means think about what you just heard. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? Selah. But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Amen. God bless you all today. I will see you this afternoon for an update. I will be doing updates every afternoon. And remember, I will be live streaming these little sections to keep everybody informed on what the real information is as it comes. So have a very blessed day today. I will see you this afternoon. All glory goes to God. For only he can keep us truly safe. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great day and a careful day today. I'll see you this afternoon.